that they want to feature power football today. See a lot of Daniel Crawford and Shane Wyman in that two tight end set. To the outside they go here, trying to get some leverage, and Kenny Hunt tried to get up the speed. They want to get him on a run, get some momentum. First pass of the game to Holiday, incomplete and defended well. The front line of the Huskies, Ryan Graham to throw. Little screen out of the backfield. And we'll leave them with a third. And David Elson say it's a lot of smoke and mirrors at times, too. Little pitch to the outside. Good enough for the first down. And, a, and the Leathernecks faced that in a Northern Arizona team. They got a two-touchdown edge on them in a previous game. Another empty set here with Ryan Graham as the principal ball carrier. And a five-receiver set on second down. Graham's got a man ball dropped by Christian Blake. Third and five in a scoreless game. And empty backfield on the throw. Another slant ball knocked up in the air a couple of times. You saw players out average over four yards a carry. Fake to Lurie straight up the middle and nothing available there. Maybe a couple, but certainly enough. The throw out to his right. He's got blockers. Catch made by Ezra Saffold, who just came in the game. Now from the shotgun. Will roll to his left and fire. Ball over the head of the intended receiver. When the NCAA adopted the 25-yard line as the start. To the 47-yard. Back for his team. Good field position, too, from the 47. Zone read here. Running to the near side and a carry of four. 200 career tackles, part of our impact player coming into this game. Nice reception and a couple of men. Levon Myers, Josh Ruka, Luke Shively, Lincoln Howard, and Max Sharping. And here's an opportunity to score as Bunyell carries the football and tries to get to the end zone. He is knocked out of bounds. Day as a wide receiver. Galladay in motion, Bunyo. Trying to run behind that offensive line. is Challenge that offensive line. Buonio again, and he is headed close to the goal line, but he has stopped. And so now Rod Cowell. Who will roll to his right end look, and fire. Touchdown! Graham, the quarterback. And they'll go tailback on the first play from scrimmage. That nets nothing. Losing to South Florida that got off to a great start against Florida State before losing 55-35. And, and now up on the top. Graham's got time. It's a three-man rush. He's going to step up. Going to try to get a blocker and get some help. But he is tripped up at the full afternoon on ESPN3 with Al Groh, Jim Barber. Northern Illinois dodges the bullet. And on first down, we'll throw it long. Intended for Galladay. And a penalty flag comes out. It could be pass interference. Come. From the 38 on first down. Able to check down and on this at the same time. Huff will go to motion as a wide receiver. They'll throw it the other way. And Western Illinois has it nicely defended. Our lines and plenty of time on the play clock at 15. Need to pick up a lot of yardage here to the 28. They'll get most of it back. Down to the 30 on the catch by Wyman. Or, so let's see how aggressive they are. Toss to the flat ball. Caught. That wasn't an easy catch for Turner. He was able to break a couple of tackles and get all the way up to the, the other side to Turner. Trying to make a couple of people miss. And then he slides at the 42. Brock Carey addressed that during the week saying, look, the penalties are just... Uh, we got to go away from that because they... Well, Illinois has got to pick up 24 to continue to drive. Graham on the roller, can shoot one down the field into double coverage intended for Turner at the 40. It's for 72, that's better than five yards of carry. That one broken up in the line of scrimmage and popped up in the air. Watson Illinois says it. Starting to recognize the urgency of this game and completing a pass to Kenny Galladay. We haven't called his name very much. Leaping ability, you can throw it up high to him. Clock the enemy right now of Northern Illinois. And I would think that every play is at clock running six and a half in the third quarter. Graham to the outside receiver. By three touchdowns, this is all four down territory. 
Graham back to pass with time down the middle of the field. And nearly picked off, intended for turn. Matty will throw to his right. Caught by Galladay. He's being a competitor for this quarterback job. Well, at this point, nothing to lose with his team down 28-7. Throws a strike to the 35-yard line. It's a good enforcement. Getting that extra official out there makes a big difference. Little toss to the outside and a pickup all the way to the 37. Anthony Matty remains in the game. Nice start. And now Matty will keep. Right guy. They're trying to find out who should be their long-term quarterback. Get the first down here. Huff's still carrying the football into that second line of defense. Down the third quarter. Matty on the throw to the sidelines. Ball caught. Galladay with a reception. And a nodded to the post. That was a nod corner route. Okay, not a big, hard, dramatic move, but a nod post. He put it right on Galladay's hands. He's put a lot of energy back in this crowd and on his team. Western Illinois with seven, maybe eight in the box. They'll run the football to the near side of the field. Penalty flag on the play. Now it is first and goal from the 20. Matty looked to throw and he gets swallowed up. And a loss of Jim preferring to let the front four rush. I would suspect that will be the case here again. Here's Jordan Huff straight ahead. Back Tampa, early January 2017. Fake to Turner on the end of round and a long toss downfield. Inside the 25-yard line by Galladay. What a catch. Anthony, uh, Anthony Matty, the backup quarterback, the fifth-year senior from Plainfield, Illinois. Here's Huff carrying the football, headed toward the end zone. Touchdown. And Northern. They haven't cleaned him up yet. Nope. Matty to run the football to the near side, out of bounds after a modest game. A little bit. Matty looking down the field and bad coverage. Incomplete. Matty to the flat. Turner. Strong gain. Caught. To the end zone. Touchdown. Kenny Galladay. It's 20. Here he is leading a fourth quarter rally. Snap back to Matty. Ball loose on the field. Two point conversion. Five. On the strength of Anthony Matty. And this toss here to Kenny Galladay. On first down. Galladay to the outside. Off the handoff, still going with a football. Pass the 40 and up toward midfield. What a slick call. Huskies now with 135 yards and penalties. Jordan Huff to the outside. Into the secondary. He's got a chance to go a long way here. And inside the 30-yard line. Showing blitz on the edge is Western. Matty looking to throw to the sidelines. And he has a catch. Press coverage on Galladay. Quarterback keep. It looks like it's enough for a first down. Slot. That's not a good matchup for Western. You mentioned Huff. As Saffold gets the catch on the outside and fumbles the ball out of bounds. Second down. Matty looking and throwing Saffold. Can he make a man miss? To the marker. Two minutes left. Straight ahead, Matty. 50 left. Quick pass to the flat. Lake. Blitz, we'll have to see if they choose to do so now. Matty straight ahead. Northern. Matty to roll to his right, looking to the end zone. Now has to cut it up. And he's brought down to the nine. And the 45 left in the game. Matty looking end zone. Throwing and complete. Fans and pass from left to right. Empty backfield, fourth and three. Matty over the middle. Incomplete.